Tantrums, hitting, fighting, this is a common problem with children. In fact, aggression is a common problem. In fact, the ages between two and five are the most aggressive uh, in all of development. And, and aggression is one of the most misunderstood behaviors. It feels to us as if the child is doing it on purpose. It feels to us if the child should be able to control it. In actual fact, it's indicative uh, that uh, they are full of frustration. Uh, not only frustration, but foul frustration. And the way it works is very simple. When we're frustrated, when something doesn't work for us, the first thing we try to do is effect change. But children are up against all kinds of things they cannot change. They can't send the sibling back from whence they came. They can't get their way all the time. They can't be best all the time. They can't win all the time. They can't have the second story tonight. And so when that happens and they're up against the things that they cannot change, what it's meant to do is, is uh, when they encounter futility, it's meant to move them to to actually tears of futility. It's a wonderful little thing that goes on in the brain. The amygdala, the command center of the limbic system, sends signals to the lacrimal glands and the eyes water. And so, and, and they can water for all kinds of reasons, but the tears of futility are actually when a child has encountered futility and lets go. And this is the key to transformation. We are meant to be transformed by something we cannot change. So the key when a child hits or when a child strikes out or a child smashes things or a tantrum is it tells us, A, the child is frustrated, two, he's up against the things he ca cannot change, but three, it tells us that he has not, that he has not yet uh, felt the futility that he needs to in his life. There's not enough movement from mad to sad. So the challenge is with a tantrum to take tantrum to tears, not to add more frustration, not to add to all kinds of consequences. It's just going to harden the child more, uh, but to be able to take tantrums to tears. The same is true uh, for the older child. It tells us the child has not yet had his tears about, uh, about th that which he is up against. Now, older children cry on the inside. We call it sadness and disappointment. But it's still that movement from mad to sad that must happen. And as parents, if, if we understood this and we could help this along, it would make a big difference. Until nature uh, solves the problem itself and the child is capable of mixed feelings somewhere between five and seven years of age when most children will grow out of aggression naturally. And we need to support those mixed feelings because that's nature's ultimate answer.